Hello, everyone. This is our Hawaiian volcano summary for July 10th, 2025. Uh, Kilauea is still erupting, having produced its 28th episode yesterday, July 9th at 4.10 uh, a.m., lasting about nine hours until about 1.20 p.m. Um, the fountains peaked, according to preliminary reports by the USGS, around 1,200 feet or 365 meters, um, while putting out over 5 million cubic meters of lava. You guys are seeing a video here taken by the USGS after they landed on the crater floor to take a sample of the lava as it was flowing out of the vent crossing the crater floor here. And if you look at the uh, view from the KW camera, we have a time lapse here that shows uh, a couple of the overflows the night before, um, followed by the major pulse of lava with high fountain coming about an hour later. The first flows reach a short distance from the vents, while the later pulses make their way further across the crater floor, and ultimately have some ooze-ups in the eastern side of the crater floor as well. So that's the, the extent of lava produced by episode 28. And we can see here from the USGS table um, the dates and times and volume of the episode. The USGS has released a new map that shows the lava thickness through episode 24, along with a cross section here. So to start off, let me zoom in here. The reddest, reddish are the thickest points. So right around the vents, you have a maximum thickness of 338 feet, 103 meters. And that goes down all the way to just a few feet and meters at this far eastern end. And you can see the average thickness uh, leads uh, to a, an elevation of 3,133 feet above sea level, or 955 meters or so. And if we look at the cross section, um, this shows a little bit more of the nuance because uh, even without the cone, which is presently growing to reach near the top of the, the cliff on the western side of the caldera, we also have an inclined slope from west to east with the flows thicker in the west and draping across the crater to the east here. So that's the current layout and lava flows are still in that same area. Uh, the ground tilt pattern followed the same um, cycle as before with uh, inflation tracking the accumulation of magma before the episode, deflation tracking the release of magma during that highest sustained fountaining phase. And what you can see here is that since the episode has ended, we have resumed our inflation and tremor and all the other signals that lead us to believe another episode is on the way as well. So the USGS has not put out uh, an estimated window, uh, apart from saying that we are in about this six to 10 day interval, averaging seven, and that's about what we'd expect for the next episode to come. Now this fits within the larger pattern. You see here the tilt plot at Wiakahuna since the beginning of the eruption in late December of 2024, um, with the sawtooth pattern, each one of them indicating a build up to an episode and release through a high fountaining phase. Here's the latest USGS update from today, summarizing this six to 10 day expectation for the next episode. Looking at the gas emissions, which are, are the largest impact of this eruption when the tephra is falling outside of inhabited areas, as it has been recently here. Uh, trade winds blowing from the Northeast, keep much of the tephra and the gas to the Southwest. Uh, the tephra falls within a national park, but the the gas can fly further away as well. So here you see the effects wrapping around South Hawaii to the west side of the island as well. Um, the major pulse is through. So what you're seeing here is this inter-episode rate of 1,500 tons of SO2 per day. During a larger gas burst, you can have larger concentrations here and down on wind as well. So we can look at the KP camera uh, on the side of Mauna Loa for a time-lapse view of where the gas cloud traveled during this last episode. And so you see it here bursting up and flying largely to the southwest, um, reaches a high elevation, but does not pierce uh, further up. It gets carried to the southwest and, and, and trained in that direction. So looking at our Purple Air Citizen Science Monitoring Network, we can see some slightly, eleva slightly elevated values here in the west and southwest part of Hawaii Island. Earthquakes have been quiet over the past week, um, some still along the south flank of Kilauea, smattering under the summit and 
low levels at the Pahala source, but still ongoing. Here you can see like the relative earthquake counts per week over the last year being relatively low ever since that eruption uh, began in December of last year. Our GPS monitoring signal is showing that there's quite a lot of ground movement happening during each episode with the ground extending and contracting perhaps seven or eight centimeters before relaxing and doing it again. But overall, the pattern is fairly stable um, within this window. So that's our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for this week.